In this example, we need to find the domain and range of the function that is given here. Notice our function is given as a small set of ordered pairs. Well, what is the domain of the function? The domain of the function are the x values that this function can take on. And what's the range? The range are the y values that this function can take on. So whenever we have a function that's given as a set of ordered pairs, it's very easy to find the domain and the range. The domain are just all the x values. So what are my x values? Negative 3, negative 7, 5, and 10. And we've written the domain as a set of numbers, but one thing when you write sets of numbers, the numbers need to be in numerical order, and these aren't because these two numbers are in the wrong order. So if we write this set of numbers in numerical order, I start at negative 7, next comes negative 3, then 5, and 10. So that is the domain of this function. Now we need to find the range. We're going to do this the same way, except all we're going to look at is the y values. So I have 1, 0, negative 8, and negative 11. So that set of numbers is the range for this function, but again, they need to be in numerical order. So the smallest is negative 11, then I have negative 8, then I have 0, and finally 1. So that is the range of this function.